No TV show is perfect, and even those series which seem to boast an improbably high batting average of quality episodes aren't beyond at least one dud. With that in mind, I'm Will Fort Culture, and here are 10 terrible episodes in otherwise awesome TV shows. 10. Shades of Grey – Star Trek The Next Generation The first two seasons of Star Trek The Next Generation had their fair share of not-so-great episodes, to be fair, but just a single one which dared to be a truly worthless insult to the audience. The second season's finale, Shades of Grey, was the only clip show episode across the TNG's seven seasons, and it was devised after the previous episodes in the season had run over budget. Writer Maurice Hurley, who himself called the episode a piece of sh wrote a frame narrative involving Riker being forced to relive pivotal moments during his time on the Enterprise in order to fight off an alien infection. Even for the standards of clip shows, it's howlingly lazy stuff, with the wraparound scenes all being shot in just three days, serving as an embarrassingly flimsy segue to various choice clips from the first two seasons. It may well be one of the worst season finales to any mainstream TV show in history, though thankfully TNG rebounded with its hugely improved third season. 9. Fire and Water – Lost Though Lost maintained an enticingly weird clip all the way through to its divisive finale, there are a couple of mediocre entries among the bunch which saw the show spinning its wheels and refusing to move things forward. And then there's the Season 2 episode, Fire and Water. Focused largely on Charlie, the episode offers up some limp, melodramatic flashbacks to Charlie's fraught relationship with his addict's brother and the infamously embarrassing shoots for the drive shaft diaper commercial. On the island, Charlie witnesses some pretentious and absurd visions before attempting to baptize Claire's baby Aaron and getting punched out by Locke for his trouble. Worse than a mere holding pattern episode, Fire and Water's attempt at character development falls totally flat while depicting Charlie at his most utterly insufferable. 8. The Waldo Moment – Black Mirror Though Black Mirror has maintained a fair consistency across its run, there's one clear standout as the show's worst. Season 2's The Waldo Moment follows a despondent comedian who voices a popular animated bear Waldo and ultimately enters a by-election as Waldo to become a member of Parliament. Despite many noting the episode's relevance following Donald Trump's successful presidential campaign, it's also the most on-the-nose and off-base Black Mirror episode, taking shallow, simplistic, and worst of all, unfunny pot shots at populist politics. The episode's rushed ending, in which the comedian's life is quickly ruined, was particularly criticized, placing a not convincing enough kappa on an episode that lacked the satirical flair or conceptual cleverness to be worthy of the Black Mirror name. A rare misstep for the great Charlie Brooker. 7. Jack Officers, South Park Unlike every other episode on this list, the all-time worst episode across South Park's staggering 23 seasons is kinda sorta on purpose. The season 3 episode Jack Officers aired less than a month after the release of Star Wars The Phantom Menace, and was designed to parody the film's much maligned comic relief character Jar Jar Binks. The episode sees the boys run into the titular human duck thing, an over-designed abomination with an extremely annoying, grating voice, not unlike Jar Jar. While it's clear that Matt Stone and Trey Parker were venting their own frustrations with The Phantom Menace and tapping into a cultural vein of rage, the irritation factor of the Jakovasaur is never outweighed by the comedic merits, of which there was precious little. Sure, Jakovasaur is extremely irritating, just like Jar Jar, but where are the laughs? As a whole, the episode just assaults the viewer with its message, which, while perhaps was the point, makes for the most insufferable and skippable episode of the entire series. 6. Christopher, The Sopranos The Sopranos is one of the most instrumental shows in breaking down the wall between TV and film, the influence of which continues to be felt two decades later. But even this prestige behemoth wasn't above a single clunker, as evidenced by the season 4 episode Christopher, focusing on Silvio, Patsy, and Artie confronting a group of Native Americans protesting the Columbus Day Parade. Though it's not an inherently terrible concept, the script is so hilariously on the nose and lacking in subtlety as to be embarrassing. Everything the characters say sounds more like talking points than naturalistic dialogue, and it surely doesn't help that Silvio's focal role was originally meant for Pauly, but was switched up due to Sirico being out of commission for the season's first half after back surgery. As a result, it's no mere coincidence that Silvio's behaviour seems a touch out of character and would be far better suited to the more fiery Pauly. 5. Be a Bad – Buffy the Vampire Slayer 
Though Buffy was never averse to indulging its goofiest sensibilities every now and then, the season 4 episode Be A Bad was one step too far basically serving as a supernatural PSA against binge drinking. Xander starts working at a local bar thanks to a fake ID, leading him and Buffy to discover that the owner is brewing beer, which turns the patrons into Neanderthals. Its messaging is laid on incredibly thick, yet lacks that wink-wink camp factor which could have turned it into a genuine cult classic rather than an embarrassing abomination. Though Joss Whedon acknowledged that the episode makes a lot of people groan, he still concedes that it has some lovely stuff in it. However, that's a point where him and the fanbase certainly disagree. 4. Frank's Brother – It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia Considering it's the longest-running live-action comedy series in American TV history, it's impressive how consistent It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia has been across its 14 seasons to date. Yet Season 7's Frank's brother is the single exception that proves the rule, in which the gang are paid a visit by Frank's older brother Gino. Despite great work from both DeVito and Polito, this breaks the first sitcom rule. It just isn't funny. The majority of the gang are barely in the episode, and the generally low-effort, no-wit approach to humor makes it feel as though the script was hushed out on a cocktail napkin the night before filming. The closest thing the show's ever had to a flat-out dud, Frank's brother is the single episode you absolutely skip on repeat watch-throughs. 3. Tea Leaves – Mad Men like The Sopranos, Mad Men is a premium drama show with few notable lows and many, many landmark highs. By far its weakest episode, though, is Tea Leaves, which brings us no joy to say was directed by none other than Don Draper himself, John Hamm. But the issues aren't so much with Hamm's direction as they are the episode's script, which focuses on reintroducing Don's ex-wife Betty to the narrative, depicted here as both depressed and overweight. You won't find any Mad Men subplots more universally maligned than Fat Betty, which saw its silly genesis here by way of some embarrassingly bad prosthetic effects. The storyline only exists because Jones became pregnant between the show's fourth and fifth season, and the creators apparently saw no other way to have Betty in the show without Jones donning a fat suit and performance encroaching makeup. Though the more office-centric stuff isn't bad here, it's entirely overshadowed by the uncharacteristic splash of goofiness that Fat Betty brings with her. 2. Chapter 7 The Lost Sister – Stranger Things Ask any Stranger Things fan what the show's single bad episode is, and invariably everyone will answer back with three words – The Lost Sister. The seventh episode of the sci-fi mystery show's second season takes a surprise detour from the main story, as Eleven heads to Chicago and meets Carly, aka Eight, a fellow unwilling experiment from Hawkins' lab. Beyond the episode substituting the nostalgic style the series is known for in favor of a grim, dark glimpse of the Windy City, The Lost Sister absolutely reeks of a backdoor pilot, with many fans believing the Duffer brothers were testing the waters for a Carly spin-off series. Despite the Duffers denying this claim, the episode sticks out like a sore thumb, bringing the central narrative grinding to a halt and taking a breather that nobody really asked for. 1. The Farm – The Office Though The Office's best years were long behind it when it neared the end of its run, nothing quite says network desperation like one of the show's final ever episodes, The Farm. The episode focuses on Dwight as he attends his aunt's funeral at Shroop Farms, and effectively serves as a backdoor pilot to a proposed Dwight spin-off set to fill The Office's slot when it wrapped up its run a mere two months later. But Frasier this wasn't, as The Farm was widely reviled by critics and fans alike, who in addition to feeling that the episode was too blatantly angling for its own series order, also found it plain unfunny. Above all else, it proved that Dwight is far more effective as a supporting character than a protagonist, and once Michael Scott took his leave, The Office was really just running out the clock. And there you have it folks, 10 terrible episodes in otherwise awesome TV shows. Feel free to drop this video a like if you enjoyed it, and drop me a follow on Twitter at YouSlyDowGu. I'm Will for What Culture, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.